you know, I, I'm about ready to give up on this whole doctors can help me, uh, help me find out what they've done to me and possibly stop it or at least help me manage the pain and discomfort and disability of being uh, so sick, of having constant headaches that feel like people are poking screwdrivers through your head. Uh, of having high-pitched ringing in the ears that gets louder and louder until all I can see is a black tunnel and I begin to vomit and, and become enraged uh, of the, the monthly bouts of encephalitis-like vomiting and extreme headache and neck and back pain, uh, the short-term memory loss, short-term working memory loss, the microvascular ischemia of the left parietal and possibly occipital lobes, uh, the neurocognitive deficits of sometimes not being able to remember what you stood up for, what you're doing, what you're saying, uh, things from your past, uh, inability to do simple mathematics anymore. I can't even add, you know, few numbers on my fingers any longer, uh, difficulty managing time, understanding uh, dates and time, difficulty working with maps, uh, local placement and, and area, where am I, where am I going, how do I get there, where is it in relationship to this, the sleep disturbances, the, the, neur the neuropathic pain that seems to randomly shoot around my body, my arms and legs and hands and feet and elbows and knees and neck and back and <clears throat> the chest pains, uh, the um, pounding, you know, the, the feeling of blood circulating, pounding in, in my leg, boom, 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 the loss of circulation and loss of feeling in my legs and hands and arms, um, the white fuzzy fuzziness of the world, feeling like I'm going to pass out at any moment, uh, the extreme anxiety and, and panic attacks that leave me, you know, hiding under the covers, wishing that the world didn't exist and that everybody would just go away and leave me alone, but they don't. Um, the, um, oh God, the agoraphobia, the, the, the you know, the post-traumatic and ongoing traumatic stress syndrome, the, the constant repetitive thoughts uh, about all the bad things that happened and that are happening, uh, being covered in, in some kind of, of creature, some life, some insect, something that we cannot seem to get rid of, cannot seem to wash or kill. Uh, although I take pictures of them with my microscope, a doctor, the one doctor who took a biopsy was unable to get a result back from the lab and that was that. Next, uh, you know, not being taken seriously because of my past, um, you know, because of my stupidity and foolishness in trying to uh, self-medicate away the, the symptoms and pain of having been exposed to some rare disease and organisms, of having been uh, tortured of having been covertly drugged for uh, more than a year with hallucinogenics and neurotoxins and God knows what, of having uh, at least one stroke, uh, you know, of having my teeth rotting out, uh, of being so traumatized that I can barely manage the, 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 the daily activities of living, washing, wearing clean clothes. I mean, considering that everything we own is kept in plastic bags and needs to be washed and, you know, we live in a little tiny place which we're moving from and the, the girl there tried to poison me with a roach poison now I gotta deal with. And, you know, keeping all this to myself, trying to, to sit calmly and quietly uh, through the trauma and drama of everybody else's life while well, I have bugs jumping in my anus, in my ears, in my nose. And I can see them under the microscope. You people can see them when I put them online, but a doctor doesn't want to take me seriously. Getting referred to specialists who, who won't do anything to help me manage the pain. Uh, the headaches that feel like somebody's poking a pencil through my brain. What's left of it. Um, Basically, 
I've tried and tried to do this the way that people do. Go to the doctor, you tell them what your problem is, you tell them the, the thing around how it might have happened, and, and they help you either heal, you know, if there's a way for you to, to heal holistically, or if to get rid of the problem, heal the problem, or fix the problem, and if that's not possible, if it's an intractable or insurmountable or undiagnosable problem, to help you manage the symptomology of the problem. The pain, the vomiting, the, the headaches, the, the neuropathic pain, the weakness, the exhaustion, the difficulty thinking, the loss of appetite, the loss of weight, the trouble holding food down, the inability to take the medication they do prescribe you because you vomited out. And so when you go to the doctor and you ask them, please help me, I get yelled at by one of the few people that actually cared. And now uh, it's drug seeking behavior. Of course it's drug seeking behavior. I'm hurting. I'm suffering. I'm, you know, even if it's beyond the scope of your understanding, you should be able to recognize. But clearly, you know, it's easier just to dismiss, find an excuse and dismiss me. I got on method on maintenance because some counselor, some social worker, some therapist told me, Timothy, this would be really good for you. You could get off of the illicit drugs you're using and it'll help you manage your life and maintain your uh, stable dose. And then when you get yourself together, you can slowly detox. And uh, Okay, sounded great. And I tried it. And the first thing they did was jam me up with so much of this stuff that I didn't know who I was. Then they ripped it away. So I... I, I I didn't know who I was. So, you know, I've been stuck on this thing and now I'm judged an addict. And so I'm invalidated. I'm no longer a valid person. I don't, uh, hey, Hello, puppy. Jay. Hey. You know, I don't, I don't rate the same uh, level of, of care or concern that, that I see other people receiving, you know. I see people walking around so high on, on stuff they get from the doctor, they don't know what, what their own name is. That's not me. I'm just trying to, to get through this awful, debilitating and painful disease I've been given that nobody even believes is real, and yet I'm dying right before your very eyes. It's taken a little while. Yes, my thinking is negative because I've been tortured and because I've been dismissed and repeatedly told I'm a non-person because of choices that I made in the past. And so now, because of these choices, uh, I'm no longer eligible for the same level of care that people who didn't make that choice are, are you know. And uh, it, the story goes on. I, I have to vent this stuff because I have nobody else to talk to, you know. My poor wife is being tortured and... Uh, Anyway, it's 10 minutes, so thanks for watching. God bless you.